Hey everyone, in this lesson I'll show you guys how to play a sound within your app. It's actually very simple. So I'm going to start with a demo Xcode project. I'm just going to create a single view application. Uh, I'm going to call it Sound Demo. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is add the AV Foundation framework down here in your project properties. So you just click this add icon and type in AV and you'll see it. Double click it and you're going to add this framework to your project. And this gives us the classes that we need in order to play sound and it happens to also be the same framework for playing video, but that was covered in another video. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder, uh, create a new group for my sounds, uh, just to keep things organized. And I happen to have an MP3 sound, which I'm just going to drag from my file system into this group. So if your uh, if your sound file isn't in the project folder, then you can check this check mark right here and it's going to copy your sound file into your project folder. And it's a good idea to keep all of your resources and files inside your project folder so that if you do happen to send it to someone or to, uh, let's say, check in your code into source control, that you don't leave out any files that it needs. So if your Xcode project is referring to files, you know, all over your file system on your computer and you check in just your source code folder, then when someone downloads your source code, they're going to have broken references in their project. So that's one thing to watch out for. Now, on the other hand, if you copy the sound file into your project folder first, and then you're dragging it into your Xcode project, then you probably don't need to check this because it's already in your uh, project folder. So I'm gonna click finish, and I can see that it's right here. And you can even actually play it in here. So it's just a single sound like that. And I am going to just demonstrate a simple example to play that sound within the app and hmm, why don't we invoke it on a button press so I'm gonna go into the storyboard here uh, go into my object library and make sure that you're looking at this objects tab right here because there are a few and your objects library tab might look like this so you know that's okay too just type in button and you should see it and if you don't see this pane at all you can go like that click this icon up here to toggle the pane so I'm going to just drag the button on here uh, I'm gonna flip over to the attributes inspector so I can change the name just call it play sound and enlarge this button a little bit more and if you're a member of my course, or if you've read some of my tutorials, you might have already learned how to connect uh, the button handler to this button. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to click this button up here to open the system editor. And I'm going to make sure that my right hand side shows the view controller.m. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to drag this guy over here and then let go. Okay, so in this way, I've created a method that will get fired when the button is tapped. So in here, I'm going to go back to single view here, back to view controller.m. And up here, I'm going to create an instance variable for my audio player. I'm going to create a AV audio player. Actually, you know what? I have to import the framework first. So 
So this variable is just going to hold a reference to the audio player object that I'm going to create here. So first of all, I'm going to create a string for the path of the sound. And this is going to be, I'm going to have to construct it basically from the main bundle path along with the file name. So the main bundle is just a name for your app package and getting the path of the main bundle is just a dynamic way of getting the path to this sound file within your app package. So I'll explain this line in a second. So I want to get the main bundle and I can get the, the resource. I should be able to get the resource path of that. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm accessing the main bundle, which is our app package and I'm getting the path for the resources which is where my sound is going to be contained and that path is going into this wildcard character here slash drum 01mp 3 which is the sound file name and just like that I will have a string representing the path within my app package to the sound Okay, and because the audio player only accepts an NS URL, I can create an NS URL variable from the path, from the string path. Using this class method here, file URL with path, and we can pass in the string path. And just like that, now we have an NS URL object ready to pass into our audio player. So I'm going to assign to our audio player variable a new AV audio player object. So allocate the space for it. And we're going to use an initialization method called init with contents of URL. And we are going to pass in sound URL. And for errors, you put nil. So I'm not checking for errors. And then simply when the button is tapped, we can call audio player play. And that's the, the method to play the sound. So let's write some documentation here. When button is tapped, play sound. And here, construct URL to sound file. And here, Create audio player object and initialize with URL to sound. All right, so let's give this a run. And hopefully if everything goes well, it works. Okay, so just like that, pretty simple example. It's pretty easy to play a sound within your app as you can see. So that's it for this video. I'm going to link to the AV audio player class documentation in case you want to explore it some more. And I'll also link to the source code for this demo. But um, you should try to build it yourself just for practice. That would be a very good exercise to do. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you guys next time.